Hello everyone, my name is uh, Emmanuel Swanard. I'm someone who's been a very, very healthy all my life, yet, just under two years ago, I was told that I was, I had stage four lung cancer. And as soon as you are diagnosed with a stage four, it automatically means that you are a palliative patient. So instead of focusing on living, whilst I was still feeling fine, I made the wrong decision and I focused on dying because to me, palliative was dying. Until I realized quite a long time later on that actually palliative is not about dying, it's also about managing, ma management of your pain, management of your symptoms, getting complementary therapies, getting emotional support as a patient and also for their family. A few weeks ago I had to be admitted because um, I was told that my cancer, lung cancer, by the way I've never smoked in my life of course, never even had a puff, had spread to my brain and at that time I had to make a decision to either have whole brain radiotherapy which would be very painful and would only extend my life by maybe a couple of weeks or a couple of months or to decline treatment. I want to live with dignity and dignity is the word that defines St Michael's Hospice. If I had to think of one word it's dignity. If I had to think of other words humanity, compassion, care happiness it's a, it's a place of happiness i never ever thought that i would laugh or i would tolerate other people laughing but actually it's such a happy place that laughing has its place at saint michael's hospice during the time of covid i was not allowed any visits and it was quite lonely but i didn't need to worry because the members of staff are so so generous with their time that they never spend less than half an hour with you. I've had some lovely HCAs who have spent hours with me. Last night, for example, she knew I was tired. She said, right, I'm gonna give you a really hot shower. And I felt like I was a baby and it felt loved. I compare this place, if you remove the hospital bed, it feels like I'm at a spa. I am treated like royalty, I am fed, like a queen, I am loved. The outpour of love is unbelievable. And therefore, spending all this time here has changed my, my anxiety levels. I was very anxious about dying, about leaving the world. But all these conversations, all this outpour of love has now made me so serene. You might find it difficult to believe but I am very, very serene. Of course, I would like to live longer, but I know I have no choice in this matter and I will die within days or weeks, we're not too sure. But what they've done for me is they've supported me and they've empowered me in understanding what will happen to me and in making the right decisions for me and my family. The compassion, the dedication and the dignity is second to none. I have never seen anything like it. That means I can now go peacefully and take all the love that I am given. So I can honestly say thanks to <clears throat> the hospice, the fantastic care, I can say I am no longer scared and I'm ready for my next journey. Thank you very much for your time and Whoever I have taught who sees this video, I have loved you, every single one of you. Even if you were naughty, I have loved all of you. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.